Hello everyone, just wanted to give you a quick update. I had a checkup with my oncologist. I have to see my oncologist every three months. And so leading up to today's visit, I just woke up very prayerful, um, put a little bit of makeup on. I like to look good and feel good. We listen to praise and worship music all the way here. And I met with my oncologist, Dr. Sinning, and his assistant is wonderful. I'm not gonna say her name, but um, she's great. She made us laugh and I got weighed in. We went over all of the medications that I'm on. There's a couple like gabapentin where I was able to cut down the dosage, which is wonderful. And um, I'm doing good with my lymphedema. My scars look good. I am still flat, happy, and healed. This is the tail end of Pinktober, the month of October, which has been very busy. For Sunday in October, we did the ovarian cancer walk in honor of our friend Sherry Price, who we loved dearly. The second Sunday in October, October, we did the American Cancer Society Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk. Both of those were at uh, Dunkin Donuts Park where the Yard Goats play. Yesterday we did the Suicide Prevention Walk. That one was really interesting because my dad told me that his mom, whose name was Pauline, passed away of breast cancer and they named me Pauline. I was born after she passed away. I did not know that she had breast cancer, but that presented the history that was now in my records. And so two days after he shared that with me, he died and he passed away tragically, but he left me with that gift of family history and knowledge so that when my mammogram said I was fine, my OBGYN knew enough to have me go for a follow-up ultrasound and a biopsy, which detected the tumor. So always know your family history. But again, I am good. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will choose to rejoice and choose to be glad in it. And I'm thankful for my husband and my family and friends and all of my supporters. Keep following my miracle healing journey.